This is Alan Bush with ADMIS in the stock index futures. Did see some strength in the overnight trade. This after the currencies of some of the emerging markets seem to stabilize. Also, we did have the durable goods orders report coming in much weaker than expected. In fact, it was anticipated to show an increase actually coming in with a decline. And yet futures held up very well on this. The thinking could be that anything that shows the economy is weakening could force the Fed to halt their taper plans this year. A little bit later, we had the consumer confidence report coming in better than expected, and stock index futures continue to advance. So it seems that even though uh, we do get some reports that are a bit negative, some reports a bit uh, on the positive side as far as the economy is concerned, stock index futures continue to perform well uh, in light of basically any report that we get uh, as far as the uh, economy is concerned. So that has to be viewed as a sign of strength. We feel that any breaks in stock index futures are buying opportunities and we would expect further gains today with what we're seeing in the stock index futures markets. Over in the currencies, the dollar index trading higher on ideas that the Fed will announce an additional taper of their QE at their two-day meeting that starts today. Most likely the Fed will taper by 10 billion. So the taper, if they do announce that, that would put upward pressure on short-term U.S. interest rates, which is bullish for the dollar. So I would look for follow-through strength today and uh, early tomorrow in the dollar index. We did see some strength in the pound. This after U.K. GDP numbers coming in as expected. Most likely the pound will continue to advance longer term. The Australian dollar a little bit better after a business confidence index coming in better than anticipated. However, we would expect these gains not to follow through, and I would not be surprised to see a move to lower on the day today in the Australian dollar. Longer term, still looks like the Australian dollar will work lower in interest rate markets. A lot of cross currents uh, in, in the treasuries. We do have supply an issue this week with $111 billion to be uh, auctioned uh, this week, starting with uh, today's two-year note auction. So with as many cross currents as we are seeing there, I think I would stand aside in treasuries near term, but instead focus on the long side of stock index futures and the short side of the Australian dollar. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.